Hello, welcome back to the channel. I created a video that shows the steps that I take to make my narration videos for YouTube. And for anyone who's ever wanted to make videos for YouTube, I hope you find this video useful. I'm going to go over the things that I use in order to make a video. And I'm also going to be giving some tips along the way. So how do I make my YouTube videos? First off, you need five things. You need either a computer or a smartphone. Two, you need to select a story that you want to narrate. However, before you narrate the story, you need to ask for permission from the author to narrate the story to avoid copyright. But I'm going to be getting into that later. Three, you need a recording app. The app that I use is called Dolby On. I think that's how it's pronounced. Four, you need a screen recorder. I use Super Screen Recorder. That's the app that I use to make my videos. And I'm going to be explaining why you need a, a screen recorder later on. And fifth, you need a video editing app. The video editing app that I use is called Ucut Video Editor. Now, there are also some optional things that you can get to make your videos. One would be a mic. If you're making videos on your phone, you don't need a mic necessarily, but you could get one if you want. If you're making a video on your computer, then you will need a mic in order to do your narrations, etc. Another optional item would be a webcam. Depending on the video that you're making, a webcam may be optional. For example, if you're making video narrations, a webcam isn't necessary, but if you're making gaming videos or reaction videos, a webcam is necessary. Another optional item is a background noise reducing app. This app can be useful for getting rid of any background noise from your videos or your recordings, especially if you're living in an area with lots of noise, outside noise. But that's optional. If you have a quiet area to make your videos, then that's completely optional. So the first thing I do when making a video, the first thing I do is I need to find a story that I would like to narrate. However, before I start narrating the story, first I need to ask the author for permission since the story is the author's property. Once permission has been granted by the author, I make sure to place a link of where the author can be found, for example, their website or their social media account in the description of the video and I also place a link of where the story can be found as well in the description of the video. For example, a creepypasta website or reddit website, etc. Now, how do you ask an author for permission to narrate their story? I use the following format. Hello, insert author's name. I like your story, insert story name. I would like to narrate it on my channel, insert channel name. What are your requirements? That's how I ask authors for permission to read their stories. Uh, usually the requirements are simple, just uh, make sure you mention them in the video or have their name in the video and to place uh, links to, th to their website and their story in the description as I previously mentioned. Once I have acquired the story that I want to narrate, next I use the recording app. As mentioned, I use Dolby app. The Dolby app has many features you can use in order to edit your videos. So something I do when I'm making a narration, if I make a mistake while I'm narrating, I stop for 4 to 5 seconds and then I restart from the beginning. Either that or I say edit that out. So that way that will be a cue for me when I'm editing to edit out a specific part of the recording. Placing that space in the recording makes it way easier to cut out errors from the recording when you're editing during the editing phase. Then once you're done recording, you download the recording to your phone storage or to your computer storage. Then once you do that, the next thing you're going to have to do is create a background. And the background is basically what's going to be appearing in your video, or at least what the viewer is going to be seeing. And on top of the background, you are going to be placing your your narration recording. 
So in order to create a background, you could download a stock image or any other image from Google that is copyright free. Or if you're going to use an image that is copyrighted, make sure to get the creator's permission first before you use it in your video. Once you select your image, go to the stock image and then screen record the stock image. After recording for like 10, 20 seconds, uh, save the screen recording. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your video editing app. Once you're on the video editing app, you're going to start a new project and there you are going to paste the screen recording that you did. Once you paste your screen recording onto the video editing app, you're going to make copies of the screen recording until it is about the length of the narration you recorded but before you paste your narration recording the first thing you need to do you need to add two more parts to the video you need to add an intro and an outro i usually always add the intro first and then i add the outro later but if you want you could add them both at the same time once you add the intro and the outro you can add the narration recording once you add the narration recording you can cut out the errors from the recording once you cut out all the errors from the narration recording you could add music when adding music to your video make sure you implement adaptive audio so what does adaptive audio mean adaptive audio means that the music in your video is appropriate to what's going on in the video or to what's going on in the story for example make sure that suspenseful music is playing when something suspenseful is happening or make sure calm or ambiance music is, is being played when nothing suspenseful is happening so in other words make sure that the music is appropriate to what's happening in the video or story when it comes to using music for your videos i would recommend that you use music from this youtuber called Miu M Y U U I think that's how it's pronounced this youtuber makes free copyright music just make sure to include a link in your video's description of the youtuber's channel just to give him credit for his work once you've done that then you can save and upload your video to YouTube. When uploading your video to YouTube, you can select a scheduled uploading, which basically means that you can select a date, a specific date you want your video to be made available on YouTube. So that way you could you can uh, set a set a specific date for the video to be uploaded while you're working on another video. So that's how I make my YouTube videos. Now I'm going to be showing you step by step how I make them.